The Commission of Inquiry established to look into judgment debt payments and other related matters resumed sitting at the old Parliament House. Both the Auditor General and Solicitor General made appearances to present audited documents from 1993 till date. Heads of both institutions asked for more time from the Commissioner, Mr. Justice Yao Apo, to enable them to present detailed documents for scrutiny. At its last sitting two weeks ago, the Commission of Inquiry adjourned hearing to today as most of witnesses were unable to produce documents dating back to 1992. The Commission is currently accepting documents on cases of judgments and settlements. The Commission is headed by Appeal Court's Judge Justice Yao Appel. First to appear today was the Auditor General's Deputy, Mr. Yao Ejei Sefa. Mr. Ejei Sefa produced audited reports from 1993 to 1999, as well as from 2002 to 2005, but the reports of 1992 were not accounted for. The election was in 2092, but started in 93. So that is why we have the 93 to up to date. So with that understanding, then we have provided the entire set of reports that my Lord requested for. The report on consolidated fund, the report on ministries, departments and agencies, report on statutory boards and corporations, report on pre-university educational institutions, report on district assemblies, common fund. He mentioned a lot of them. Have you brought those ones or you haven't? No, we haven't brought those ones, my Lord. We brought the, those ones that based on the consolidated fund. But we had a challenge getting the 93 series. Mm -hmm. So we were concerned more with okay. getting those on the consolidated fund. But then we can still look around and then and furnish you with you know, those other reports. The Solicitor General, Ama Abuakwa Gezi, presented a report on all civil actions against the state, but asked the commissioner to be more specific on the matter because the civil action against the state included files of various suits and petitions against the state. Maybe we could start with the, the suit files, we call them the case files, and then use the notice of intention files. Then there are also petition files. People don't sue, but they petition the attorney general or they petition the office of the president, and then the office of the president forwards it to the attorney general's office. So we are talking about quite a number of files. The way she has grouped it, I think it is it's in order. There's notice of intention to, to, to sue, okay. yes, take action. Then where the actions were really taken, then the, the manner in which the actions were settled, either through negotiated settlement, or through admissions, or through full trial, or through consent judgment, just in that order. We need all those cases, list of the cases and within the particular file. Both institutions, the Auditor and Solicitor General, have been given ample time to present other relevant documents at the next sitting of which date they will be notified. Sitting has been adjourned till tomorrow, 10 a.m., where the Deputy Director of Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning and the Controller and Accountant General will present documents to the Commission. The Commission, which has one year to present its report, is investigating the causes of excess payments made from public funds in satisfaction of judgment debts spanning the past two decades. It will also make recommendations to help ensure government does not incur undue financial losses in dealing with private individuals and institutions.